Today I'm going to show you how I make an HTML dungeon, how I write it in markup, and then I convert it to HTML, and then I have a file that I can embed on an itch.io page, or I can make it its own standalone website. It's an easy dungeon you can run from a browser on your phone. I use Ghostwriter for writing. There's lots of free editors out there. This is the one that I like. And you can uh, try a bunch of different ones. It's just important that it can export to HTML. You're going to want to get Pandoc. That helps it um, convert the files. So it, that's free and you can install that. Get a good markdown cheat sheet. Ghostwriter has a cheat sheet built in. It doesn't have everything you can do, but it's still really handy. But I like to keep one here on the side. So you have this... Um, you have this frame that you type in, and then on the right is the frame that shows the preview. So you use hashtags to make headers, you can make lists, you can use asterisks to italicize or make things bold, you can make tables. Tables are maybe the most complicated thing in Markdown, and that's pretty easy too. So you can use that to make little random tables you can add in links and images you can put in snippets of code um, right down here is a block quote that second paragraph I made that a quote really easy to do here is a dungeon I wrote just using all markup or markdown I mean markdown is a markup language so you can write pretty quickly with it. This is sped up a lot. When you are done creating your Markdown document, you can go to File and Export, and we're going to export it as an HTML file. There, it, I'm using Pandoc as the converter. There's another one in there, but Pandoc does a better job. I'm going to save this as X as a HTML file and when you save it it will open up the file automatically so you can see all the HTML um, code there which is not that it's a little similar to markdown but you can do a lot more with it it gets a lot more complicated I'm not going to go into that right now that's definitely useful to learn. I'm going to add in the title up here. Um, you don't have to do that, but there's a part that says title that you can put in the name of your dungeon and it'll show up in the top of the web browser. All right, so once you have that made, the HTML file, I'm going to grab the HTML file and then the two images that I used in it. Oh yeah, you want to name it index. Rename it index. It has to be called index.html for itch.io to be able to use it. So grab all the files that are involved, HTML and then the images that you're using, and you're going to compress those into a zip file. I'm going to rename that zip file Seller of Doom. And then I'm going to go to itch, create a new project. title um, you're gonna want to change the type of project to HTML and you're gonna upload that zip file and you're gonna want to set it to uh, play in browser you can adjust the size of it you're gonna check these boxes and then you're good to test it out There you go, it worked. There is now a little website embedded inside of the Edge page. All right, now we're going to GitHub and we're going to need to make an account, it's free. Create a new repository. Give it the name of the dungeon.
Right after we have that uploaded, we're going to Netlify. You need to make an account here. It is free and then click new page from Git. Then click GitHub and it will link your GitHub account. You have to authorize that. Then select your dungeon repository. Then deploy site. And then you just have to wait a little bit and it will create your site. It doesn't take too long usually, especially with a simple site like this. Then you could set a custom domain. You can buy a domain name and apply it there pretty easily, but they give you a little domain um, up here you can click on and see your website. You can share that link with people, open it on your phone, and that's how you make a dungeon that is also a website. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I will do my best. I am no expert. I am figuring this stuff out, but it's a lot of fun, so give it a shot.